What's up, y'all? Thanks, Justo. Yeah, I'm in the outdoors, you feel me? Nature and Listen, it's been a long time, man. I haven't spoke to y'all in a minute, man. It's really been a long time. Um, I think the last time I uploaded was like, what, two weeks ago? That was a little skit or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very questionable. I ain't gonna lie. Very questionable. I really want to talk about pretty much everything. You know what I'm saying? What's been going on in my life? Why I haven't been uploading as much? Why I keep switching content? You know what I'm saying? I think it's 369 of y'all, almost 370. Make sure y'all guys like, comment, and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? No, that was corny, bro. I'm never doing that again. Hold on. Actually, let me show y'all the car first because I did just get the whip. You know what I'm saying? I've been talking about this for a long time. It's been <sighs> since the start of 2024, really. Since the car exploded on me in Chick-fil-A. Crazy. Look at it. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. Let me get take a guess of what her name is in the comments. Y'all let me know. You know what I'm saying? Cool. I wanted to get a four door, but you know, the four door wasn't looking too nice, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Let me show y'all the interior too. The interior is what sold me. Let me show y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Dang. Oh my God. Oh my God. Sweet Jesus. Sweet Jesus. Oh my God. I worked hard for this too, man. So. Okay. Where do I start, man? Um. Okay, let's let's start with pretty much the main topic. The main thing that we're talking about here is my well, I can say was my ongoing battle with depression that I had starting pretty much starting when my car exploded. Pretty much like when that whole event happened, man, that kind of set me back a lot. That sent me back way. That sent me back. I don't even know, bro. Like if I felt like a caveman with no whip, dog. I felt like I had to walk everywhere. I had to call Ubers. I couldn't do it, bro. I couldn't do it. You know, I kind of, that, that put me in a rough spot. You know what I'm saying? Because I had to pretty much switch jobs. And then I had to leave school pretty much because I couldn't really like Uber. Ubering from where I live to my college, that's like a, that's $120 a day. That's too, I can't spend that, bro. I can't spend that. Even with, I have student loans, bro. No! I will not put myself in the hole like that. I will not, bro. I will not. But, yeah, that pretty much made me decide, like, okay, I got to go ahead and just dip out of classes for the time being and then, you know, stack my bird up. And that's what I've been doing for the past, uh, like, six, seven months, pretty much to get this whip. And, man, those months were rough, dog. I, I will tell you that because... You know, like I just said, with my ongoing battle with depression, it was like, I remember when Jim Carrey said there's a big difference between sadness and depression because with sadness, it's very temporary. You can be sad one day and then, you know, the next day you'll be straight. With depression, it's like it lingers on to you. You don't feel like really, you don't feel like really doing that much. You know what I'm saying? And that's pretty much what was going on, bro. Like, it was just the ongoing cycle of me getting up, having to go to work, and then coming right back to the same place. Like, I feel like I was confined in one spot. And the only time I got to really, like, really do stuff is when, like, folks was, like, throwing parties and stuff. Like, um, this is another factor, too. I remember I went to a kickback of one of my friends. Oh, what? Why, why did I just say it like that? What? I went, I went to one of my friends' kickback, right? And... It was pretty much like a middle school reunion, bro. Like, everybody from middle school popped up. I was like, whoa, I ain't seen you in, like, I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? I sound like I sound like that one uncle at every cookout. You know what I mean? And, um, who just hit my phone? And pretty much, there's a famous saying. And the saying goes, comparison is the thief of happiness. I think that's how it goes. I don't know. But, um, that's pretty much what kind of set in at that moment. It was like. I'm looking at who's in the room and like I've been seeing the accomplishments like on social media and stuff, but like now I'm in the room with them, like now I'm surrounded by them. Now I'm like, okay, he's doing this. She she got an internship for that. Oh, she just landed a big job at Google. And I'm and I'm sitting there like, hmm, what have I really done? 
and it kind of, it kind of made me like push hard on myself, you know, like, oh, why didn't you do this correctly? Or why'd you make this choice? And then why'd you do it? You know, it kind of, it kind of put me in a very dark place where like, I, I seemingly hated myself, you know? And I will say it was dark. It was really dark, man. It was dark, man. Some nights, you know, I wouldn't really have that much or have that many people to talk to because I I didn't I didn't really feel like they would really understand the place that I'm in as much or I wouldn't feel like I was being listened to, you know? And that's something I was very hard I had to get over. I'm over it now, by the way, but you know, that was something I was very hard on me. Uh and with the streaming too, that was on the that was on the side of as well. With the streaming, it was like it was fun some nights, and then some nights I just felt forced to stream. And I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't know. Like maybe I'm just not ready to stream yet, bro. Maybe I gotta really like put myself out there first, then I'm gonna start streaming for real. But like I don't know. It just very. It just it was it's man. <sighs> Shout out Kai Sinat, man. Shout out flight shout out all the top streamers man and shout out bruce man i ain't gonna lie bruce don't deserve no slander this is off topic but hey shout out bruce big deal i don't know man i just i just felt i kind of felt forced sometimes because you know maybe i was just being lazy i don't know i'm just venting out loud maybe i was just lazy damn justin but uh but recently like you know but the i had like a whole like i switched networks recently and that pretty much killed streaming for the time being, bro. I'm not really mad about it too much, bro. I'll, I'll, I'll be back on it soon. If anybody's wondering, whoever watches me first streaming, you know. Uh, I'll be back on it soon. But right now, uh, I think right now I'm just going to stick to uh, rap content pretty much. Or hip-hop content, you know. Like, uh... I'm not, I'm not trying to, like, put my box myself in, but, like, you know like, an academics or whatever, I don't know, bro, I don't know, but y'all know, y'all pretty much, how I, I just love rap, you know what I'm saying, so I just want to really just talk about it, or make content about it, around it, you know, but yeah, I pretty much wanted to just air that out for anybody that, you know, that's been going through the same thing as me, you know, uh, I just turned 22 as well, so, like, you know, the age thing is definitely a factor as well, because I got folks calling me unk now, bro, unk, like, dog, I'm at the gas station, I see the young coming through they about to you know what i'm saying like i'm about to open the door for them type of i say oh shit. i got you they're like oh i appreciate it oh. bro i don't even look like a oh, you know what i'm saying like i don't even look like one of them bro look at me do i look like a unk let's be real salt and pepper <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I don't even look like an unk, bro. Or pretty much, man, what I'm trying to say is, I'm back, okay? I'm back. I'm happy. You can see it on my face. You know what I'm saying? Nothing can take away my smile now, bro. Nothing, bro. I'm, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm happy. You know, still ain't got no hoes, though. But you, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that's relevant. You know what I'm saying? I don't need all that. I don't need all that. We got to stick to the business, man. We got to stick to the bread and the butter. So, uh, yeah. Videos coming soon. Oh, oh, let me answer this as well. Skits. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing skits. I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing. Well, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna keep giving it a try with my friends and stuff because it's more like a group thing with us. Um, I'm gonna see how that goes. Uh, what else? Uh, I will be dropping more beat tapes this winter. I ain't gonna lie. Uh huh. Uh-huh. I might do it on platforms. All platforms this time. You know what I'm saying? I got it. You know what I'm saying? Got to invest in yourself. Real chop. No butter. I'm too. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm sweating in a bit. Oh, my God. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Thanks for listening to me. Yap for pretty much, uh, what is that? 10 minutes? 12 minutes or whatever? Be on the lookout for new videos because I am on the radar. I am pinging. I'm looking for everything, bro. Whenever I see something that I'm going to make a... Whenever, okay, I'm going to say like this. Whenever I see some bullshit, best believe I'll make a video on it. No cap. 
Do I look like I'm bullshit with y'all, man? I ain't playing, bro. By the end of this year, this is the goal. By the end of this year, we're going to be at at least 10K. At least 10K on YouTube. That's the goal. Um, Yeah. Orangutan foot lettuce.